Hello and welcome to this email review for one of my students. My name is MK Khan and in this email critique or email review or email breakdown, I'm going to show you some things that you should avoid, mistakes to avoid when writing emails and how to improve any email. Once again, if you're new to my YouTube channel, click the like, subscribe and you'll get more information about emails, copywriting and anything in between so let's look at this email and then um, let's break it down and let's review it the subject line says unveiling the emotional journey of diabetes a personal story tears and insulin pains emotional journey of a diabetic of diabetes unveil so just reading this subject lines shows that this was written with chat gpt somehow i just know this was written with chat gpt and it can be improved and you can see ChatGPT is using a lot of jargons and big grammar when you're writing copy it has to be simple it has to be clear it has to be easy to understand and that's the problem with people who use ChatGPT ChatGPT sometimes can write jargons and write stuff that can be very complex all right if this is supposed to be a story write story head and uh, subject lines that are attractive so you, the subject line could be how um uh, how i was tortured by diabetes that is weak that is bad but it's better than this year all right my intense story of this my intense story about diabetes how i suffered from diabetes how i escaped diabetes i lost my friend to that Anything simple and straightforward is better than having these subject lines that are here. Okay, I'm going to read through this story and then I'm, I'm, I will even find better subject lines after reading the email. So let's go. Hi, first name. In the quiet depths of life struggles, Maria's tear stained face reveal a silent battle with diabetes. Subject line can be my silent my silent battle with diabetes okay but i just noticed that the first line of your email is weak the first line of your email should be very strong and sometimes it has to be something that will grab the attention of your reader if you're telling a story why don't you say the middle start with the middle of your story for example hey hi first name in the year that 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 i lost my dad to diabetes all right for six months ago I had a silent battle with diabetes that is an opener that can grab attention all right just a year after losing her dad to this the same ailment she faced the haunting question okay so I have some more information in that paragraph too that last year I lost my dad to diabetes and um, at my next our path reconnected and the pain in Maria's eyes spoke volumes or that means somebody is telling the story about Maria so I can say <sighs> one year ago Maria lost her dad to diabetes and this brought the haunting question am I she kept having this haunting question and my next all right our path con we connected and the pain in my eyes I spoke about him. sharing her fear she confided in me about her journey in the unmerciful hands of diabetes there's so many words here that are not common what do you mean by unmerciful of course I know what that means but this is not something people use all the time when you write emails it has to be conversational you're not going to use words that people don't really use. You want to use words people easily use so they can easily read and easily understand. It echoes a familiar ache. It sounds, sounds nice, but it's not a familiar terminology. People don't say things stuff like this. It echoes a familiar ache. You want it to be easy to read, easy to understand. Okay? That is why working with ChatGPT can be a problem. You have to rewrite whatever you write with AI. Okay? That reminds me, if you want to learn how to write emails with AI, I have a course that can actually show you how to do it much better than this. Everything about writing with ChatGPT or with AI is about your prompt. 
what kind of prompt are you using all right so let's go having seen my own mother conquer diabetes 2 with healthy wake up so after introducing Mara to the supplements her transformation was remarkable in her words my type 2 diabetes has gone into remission my blood pressure normalized and even my eyesight improved I feel 10 years younger healthier and more active this isn't just Mara's story there is a beacon of hope for anyone grappling with diabetes. This isn't just Maria's story. So many other people who have used this product have this same story. Alright? If you are wary of the pain and threats, take the leap. Click this, click the link for the power pack diabetes supplement that changed Maria's life. And here's my promise. If after six months you don't receive a clean bill of health, ask for a refund and I'll give you 100 percent your money back but with unwavering but with unwavering confidence i believe in the positive change this problem can bring to your life just as it did for maria and my mother your path to a diabetic free life is just a click away take that step now one regards mania reclaim your life and best the healthier happier diabetes free future once again i always like emails that are story based but if you're using chat gpt you have to be careful so GPT sometimes seem to lose the emotion. As you can see, it's not very clear, it's not very direct. We write this email, try and make it as human as possible. This sounds too robotic. You can see some sentences that are not natural. People don't just say unmerciful. It's not something we say all the time. Uh, unmerciful hands of diabetes. It sounds like a, um, a, a book poetry or something from a book when you're writing emails it's not the same thing emails should be easy to understand very clear very easy use simple words let it be conversational so that people can easily read and understand okay so the subject line needs work if you're telling a story then tell a story she lost her dad to diabetes use story subject lines that can grab attention the first line of your email should start from the middle of the email i've given you an idea already and then from there you begin to tell the story down right <sighs> then you um you mention something about your mom and mom stuff like that i don't know usually i like to focus on one idea per email but if you're bringing your mom into the email it can be confusing focus on maria right all right that doesn't mean you can't put your mom in but it's usually better to just focus on an idea per time to talk about Maria. So this is the summary of your email. Maria lost her dad. And she was scared that the same thing that happened to her can happen to her dad. Then you met her and then you introduce her to this product. She used the product and got results. And now you're recommending it to other people so they can also get the same product. That is just the basic outline of your story or your email. Find a way to say it as simple as that, using dialogue, using any other tool for storytelling. This will make your email work better. Okay? We edit where it sounds robotic, make it sound human, make it sound simpler. Cut out anything that is too much. Okay? And then start your story right there in the middle. I hope this helps. It's a simple critic, simple review, simple breakdown. Some. Um, some errors to be easily corrected to make this a good email right hope this helps if you like this breakdown or if you want to get some more email breakdown subscribe to the channel like the video and give me any question right in the comments i'll reply and see what i can do thank you and bye bye